let us pray almighty ever living god by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints bestow on us we pray through the prayers of so many intercessors and abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels, who were given the power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees, until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures, they prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might. Be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. The response is, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world of and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is a people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? Who, one whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who distress not what is vain. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved. See what the love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God, yet so are we. The reason that the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not been yet revealed. We do not know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The, world, the word of the Lord. <laughs> Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they are comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good morning. We have all of these beautiful saints today. You look so nice, and it was wonderful to see you processing. So today, we celebrate All Saints Day. Now, many saints, we know, have special feast days. We have a special feast for St. Michael the Archangel. We have a special feast for St. Patrick. We have a special feast for many and many of the saints, St. Saint Peter's and Paul. But there are also many, many, many saints in heaven that we don't know about. And that's what we celebrate today. All of the saints that are in heaven. You might know some of those saints that are in heaven. You know, maybe it's your grandmother. Maybe it's your great, great uncle that the church has not recognized, but they lived a life for Jesus, they ran the race, and they won the crown to be in heaven. Now, how many of you want good grades? Well, some hands aren't up, but most hands are up. Okay. So, uh, let's see. If you want good grades, what do you do to get good grades? Hey, study. That's probably a good thing, right? Anything else? Kagan? Read the book, right? Yeah. So, in other words, we have to do something to get good grades, don't we? Right? If you don't do anything and just uh, not study or not care or not go to school, do you get good grades? Probably not, right? How many of you play sports? Yeah, a lot of people play sports. How many want to be really good at the sport they play? Yeah. Beckett, how do you get really good at the sport? Practice. Is practice as fun as the game? No, it's not. <laughs> if you don't practice, are you going to be good? No, I know. Yeah. So in other words, you have to work at it, right? You have to work at things to be good at it. You just don't wake up one day and be the greatest basketball player, the greatest soccer player, the greatest football player, right? You got to work at it. You got to be practiced. And practice is not as fun as the game. I get that. How many want to be a saint? Well, again, you know, not every hand. Some, most, most hands are up. Yeah, okay. How many want to go to heaven? Every hand went up. You know what? That is crazy. Where are saints? Where are saints? In heaven. <laughs> so if you want to be go to heaven, <laughs> you want to be a saint, right? You want to be a saint. You think being a saint is easy? No. Do you need practice? Yeah. And you know, if we want to go to heaven, we have to act like we want to go to heaven. On Friday, Father Joby talked about decisions, didn't he? He talked about making decisions. 
So when we have things that happen in our lives, we have to think about decisions that will get us to heaven. Because every time we make a decision, we can be closer to heaven or not. <laughs> closer to the other place, which nobody wants to go to, right? So when we make decisions, we have to think about where do we want to go? When we're practicing sports, we have to work hard because we want to be better. If we want to go to heaven, if we want to be a saint, we have to do the things that will get us to heaven. Make sense? Jesus today tell, gives us a whole list of things that can make us happy. Do you think saints are happy? Do you think they were always happy on earth? You know, some might argue, yes, some might argue, no. Some might argue that they might, times in their lives, they might not have been happy. But they were always joyful because of the Lord. They were always joyful. Always joyful. So, you think they're happy in heaven? Yeah, yeah I don't think anybody's sad in heaven. And today, Jesus gives us a list of ways that we can follow to be saints and be in heaven. We have to be peacemakers. We have to be humble. We have to be kind. We have to be compassionate, thinking of others. And Jesus says, if we do those things, we're going to be happy. Even though they're not all about me, they will make us happy. Because that is what Jesus wants us to be. Jesus also said in one of the Gospels, he said, not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, is going to be with me in heaven. But those who do the will of my heavenly Father. Do you think saints were sinners? Ooh, a lot of people, some people are saying no. Every saint was a sinner. Every saint was a sinner. But what made them saints is that they realized that they needed God. They realized they needed a Savior. And they repented, and they always tried to do the will of God. So that's what we want to do. If we want to get to heaven, we've got to act like it. If we want to get to heaven, we have to seek the will of what God wants us to do. And God wants us to be kind and compassionate and loving and reach out to our neighbor. Because we all should want to be saints. It's the best thing in the world. So be a saint. What else is there? Let us proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten or made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess when baptism for the forgiveness of sins, to look forward to the resurrection of the dead, We thank Almighty God for our life and blessings and we ask him to give us the grace so that we may continue to follow him and be saints in heaven. For the pilgrim 
church on earth. May God help us grow in holiness as we endeavor to become saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials and those in authority, may the Lord guide them in governing with integrity, with special attention toward the powerless and the vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who lack faith and who are seeking, may God open their hearts to saving love of his Son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this gathering of the faithful, may Jesus' love empower us in offering strength and courage to one another in living as true disciples of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may God reward their faith as they worship him in joy with all the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Jared Remy, for whom this glass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's offer our own prayers. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to your Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims, advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. at the savior's command and from by divine decision we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Holy One reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we adore you, God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, all those saints are asked to stay inside the church for a picture after the Mass. So I'm sure everybody is a saint, but yeah, yeah, it's all those came dressed up like a saint, okay, yeah, because otherwise, yeah, okay. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Praise be to God. Send back the archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits 
who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.